Right, in today's video, we're going to show you how to make some of the common repairs and replacements um, to the parts inside the valve section of this anti-siphon valve. Um, before we get started with that, let me just note that we sell two different types of anti-siphon valves. We sell this one I have here, and we also sell a jar top version. The videos we're doing today only apply to this version, which you'll recognize because it has screws in the valve and it has um, the flow control up here. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, the first thing you would want to do is remove the, um, the, the actual solenoid. This is if we were gonna replace any of the internals inside, so diaphragm, spring, or this actual lid. So when you replace this solenoid, you'll notice it has this flow control lever. Um, if you turn this, there's a good chance that flow control lever might follow it. Now, if that goes to on, it's going to actually start flowing water. So um, you wanna make sure that that's off. Another thing I need to mention, very important, is that before you actually even get started on working any of this stuff, you need to make sure that your main water line is turned off because once you remove this cap, um, you get just a face full of water, basically. So what you do is you hold this with your thumb, hold this flow control lever, and then um, just unscrew the the solenoid and get that off of there and then once that's off you can remove this flow control which sort of just holds on there and then you can remove the top um, you'll just need a Phillips head screwdriver to remove these um, you can also use like a power drill might be a little bit simpler just when you're removing them make sure that you're a little bit careful so you don't strip them um, if you do happen to strip one of these uh, one of these screws, we do sell replacement screws on our website, and you can find, uh, find those in our product listing. We have a valve here that we've already removed the lid from, and that will just slide off. Some of those screws might grab, and then you'll notice inside you've got the, um, you've got the actual diaphragm, and then underneath that you have spring and the diaphragm rests on this screw here which is connected to the flow the uh, flow control and the on off lever at the top so to replace any of this stuff the first thing you could replace is the diaphragm so here we have like a replacement diaphragm you would need that and then you'll need the spring that goes underneath it just seats in there like that and the diaphragm goes on like this Make sure that the make sure that the actual tab here fits into that flow control lever. And then to replace that, you just put it back on. You'll fill that seat, and then you'll notice there's that gap there. When you screw down each of these, it will close that gap and create a good seal. Um, same thing for replacing the screw or sorry, the, the spring, if you need a replacement spring, you know, it's just a sort of a drop in. Um, and then the, another option that you actually have is to replace the lid entirely if it got damaged. So you could replace that lid with a new lid. And then this flow control lever just pulls off, could be replaced there. So putting it back together is just basically the exact same process as we use to pull it apart. And uh, pretty simple, and then uh, give it a test, turn your water back on, and you should be, you should see that it's working leak-free. If you have any questions about this, please let us know in the comments below, and we would be happy to help you.